Yeah. Sure, I'm Bill and I play Rigby. Wait, in the voice? Oh, in the voice. Hey, I'm Rigby <laughs> and uh... <laughs> what? It's too much, Bill. Can you do it anyways? <laughs> do it, we like Whoa. it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, JG, I play Mordecai and High Five Ghost. I'm Sam, and I am Pops, Benson, and Muslim. Uh, I'm Sean Sellis, I'm a supervisor uh, producer. Yeah. I also play Andy, long lost uh, brother of the, of the, <laughs> of the, the baby, baby ducks. ducks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. First question I got is. Uh, JG, do you spend a lot of time looking at the fan fiction and conspiracies out there about the whole thing being like an acid trip and <laughs> Rigby is like Mordecai's dead best friend from childhood? Like, there's all sorts of crazy oh, stuff oh, out there. I haven't heard what, where do I go to that, see this? That, 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 <laughs> to me, by the way. Rigby holds Mordecai back from achieving his like potential. Well, that's that's, that's true. a trip. Yeah. That's <laughs> a trip. <laughs> um, no, I haven't read a ton, but I mean... Uh, what you just said sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, like there's full like. I'll have to look it up to see what people minutes. think. Like, <laughs> I always wonder what people think about High Five Ghost because he is a little confusing. Like, is he dead? Is he a ghost? Or is he just around? Is he dead? Just is he a, a ghost? Dude. Or is he just around? He's just a dude. <laughs> He's a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a question. So, <clears throat> big fan of the show. Um, I remember watching the Thomas arc, and I was just kind of wondering how. Is it always planned that he was going to be like a double agent? Is that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Or is that just working there later? Well, originally he was uh, an intern who, like we have interns every year and we've all been interns. And so we know what it's like to be an intern and how you get treated when you're an intern. Um, and so we wanted to have a character like that at the park. And then I remember online seeing fans being like, what does Thomas even do? He doesn't do anything. Because like, once he just kind of settled in, he was like a real intern. He just kind of was in the back. In the back, yeah, not yeah. saying anything. But then like it started like, this idea started to kind of come up in the writer's meetings that he was more than that. And, um, and then we went back through when we made that episode, and like every episode, it totally made sense. Like, yeah. I mean, he, was first like, episode. Like, he was like, no, he was doing something, you just didn't know. Yeah, because first episode, he made a call to mom, and that's how it ended. Yeah. And then, like, looking back, oh, oh my god, he's a double agent. <laughs> yeah. But that was just kind of worked in a little after. A little bit. It was like, yeah. Yeah. Still awesome. Though. It worked out well. <laughs> So do you guys have any like free recording rituals for when you go in to like record your lines? Like, we usually go. Well, it's every Monday, and uh, usually we all get there, and then we do levels and kind of read lines, um, and then we just go into it. I mean, it's to a point now where we know the characters really well. And it's pretty cool because in the record we have like the storyboards up on the wall, like on a big monitor. And so if there's ever anything that you're not sure about, like how hard are they yelling, you can see the picture and be like, oh yeah, just match that. So it's it's pretty fun. Yeah. I like to take a shower just because it's a small room. <laughs> so that's something I do every Monday. There's a shower in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How awesome is it working with Mark Hamill? And you guys try and sneak Star Wars stuff out of him? <laughs> it's really cool. He's he's amazing. Uh, he's super versatile and like his voice acting range is, is crazy to watch him. And uh, I think there's been like one line in the Skip Story episode where at the beginning of him talking about what happened in his past, he says, "A long time ago in high school, far far away." <laughs> oh, yeah. But I think that's it. What's cool about Mark? I mean, one of the great things. You know, regard to Star Wars is like I think we're all pretty respectful not to like grill him but he'll just start talking sometimes about it and then like the record comes to a halt and everybody, we just sit there and listen yeah everyone's like you know, trying like, not to look like yeah, they're listening yeah, 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 yeah right, right. <laughs> keep the story you know, back when I was working yeah it's great Benson is a crazy awesome drummer do you actually play drums does that have inspiration to it at all no no I, uh, I play the saxophone I played the saxophone I'm not really much of that musician. So you mean you didn't really play that drum solo? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah, they, we they put the ping-pong ball seat on you, remember? And then we were just like, didn't It's all mocap. One take. <laughs> what would you guys say Mordecai and Ricky's favorite video games would be? From the show or in real life if they were really here? Either one. I like, I like dick jams. Toe Jam, it's a good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toe Jam and Earl, probably. We play Toe Jam and Earl together. Or uh, Kid Community would be awesome. Uh, oh my gosh, there's so many games. That's a really hard question. <laughs> Who would you 
with episodes like uh, oh, Format Wars and its follow up, like, I was, I'm, I, was I'm, I have a laziest player, like I'm all about this, you guys are speaking my language, so I love episodes like that that get really niche, really specific, and uh, beautiful tributes to elements of nostalgia that just don't see light of day, so when you guys are mining ideas for the show, like, What's the process like? Like, what are we gonna nerd out about in this episode? Like, what are we gonna what are we gonna give the special treatment to? Well, those specific ones, like the last Lazarus player, the Format Wars, like that was specifically <laughs> all the old technology and how fast it gets replaced and everything. But also, I mean, we were talking about this before uh, in another interview about how it is for the adults like you remember that stuff because kids don't know what any of it is they're like wait what is a laser disc <laughs> it, looks, it looks fake <laughs> but, but it was real but then they get to learn about these this old stuff yeah like we're in four history school. lesson yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's important we teach history yeah <laughs> but it's really fun to go in and think like oh we should do an episode about you know that stuff or anything that's old that isn't around anymore it's just fun to keep it kind of in that 80s final Sam, uh, you play a lot of the like key characters. Who's your favorite one to do? Not necessarily like voice, but like who's your favorite character? I don't know. Um, maybe. I guess if I had to pick, maybe Benson, because uh, I can relate to him the most. And he gets real angry. He has. Um, I don't know, he's fun, fun scenes. I'm really into Russia. So I noticed that a lot of the montage scenes have like, like early 90s rock music and like the video games like 8 bit, 16 bit. What years would you say the show takes place? And like, why those years in particular? Well, okay, so in the writer's room, we're very careful about not ever dating the show specifically, so we always keep it very vague. Um, I would say that it's within the decade of like the 80s slash maybe early somewhere in there but there's no specific year and we're really careful about like anytime they mention something that it's like really hard like we were talking about like when did they go to high school and if they're 23 years old <laughs> then that means that that's happening here but if they always perpetually stay 23 years old is that slowly like upticking where they were born like, I don't know it's weird but we don't want to ever date it we want to keep it kind of <laughs> you got to work with uh, Donald Glover and like a lot of awesome Paul F. Tompkins, like great comedians and stuff. Is there any plans on bringing like maybe that character back for uh, Childish Gambino, <laughs> or, like, another rap episode? We've talked about it, like awesome. bringing them back, but they like blew up at the end of that episode. <laughs> 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 they lost the, the rap battle to, to Pops, and then they blew up. So. But we like thought like oh could we bring them back somehow? Yeah, maybe there's ghosts like they're coming back. <laughs> yeah, come back as ghosts or something. Um, it'd be fun, but we never haven't really like figured it out if that's plausible in our universe or what. <laughs> I'm sure we could figure it out. Yeah. Story arcs, relationship arc of course is very spread out, and you got this movie coming up. Um, how does so, it change your uh, process for, for writing yeah, shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're clearly yeah. failing uh, to tell the storytelling. Uh, well, the yeah. half hour uh, episodes are always a lot of fun to do. I mean, they're harder, so we don't do them as much, obviously. But we know that like, the fans react to them more really positively, and it's just fun to be able to sit for like half an hour and watch a whole story. Um, and then when we. When they wanted to do the movie originally, they were like, why don't we do a 44 minute special? And it's like, why? Let's do a real movie. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they let us go for it. And so we, for the past two years, have been working on the movie. And that was like a completely different process because normally we do premise based storyboarding. And that means that the board artists write all the dialogue and we just kind of like write out the, the plot. But that, that ended up being this crazy thing. Like it's, it's a beast to do a movie. And so it was really interesting because we like would cut stuff out and record stuff and we do things and then we wrote like a script and we really tried to wrap our heads around how to make something that you wouldn't get bored of that's over an hour long. Because it's like that's a long time to sit down and uh, yeah, I think we finally did it. But it took it took over two years. And we were making the show at the same time, so it was a lot. Of fun. So I'm really excited for people to see it. We're gonna show the trailer in the panel today. So. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.